Hi everyone, today I'm going to be sharing with you everything that you need to know about using custom fonts on your iPad. The three apps that I'm going to be using in this video is iFont, Creative Cloud, and Unicode, in case you want to get any of these for yourself. I really love having custom fonts on my iPad. I use it especially a lot in my digital planners in GoodNotes, but I'm just going to be sharing you first off how to install these fonts onto your iPad. So the app that you're going to be using is iFont. It is a free app on the App Store. There are other apps available for installing fonts like AnyFont, which is one, but that is not free, but you get basically the same usability on iFont and it's free so I really recommend just using iFont. You can either install fonts from your files app if you have any saved or you can go ahead and browse all the fonts that are available on the iFont app. They have a featured font option as well as access to Google fonts where you can find a lot of fonts or even dafont.com that have a lot of free fonts for you to use. So once you've imported your font that you want to install all you need to do is click on install then there will be a pop-up asking you to allow the download click on allow and then click on close. Then you're gonna have to go to settings and then go to profile downloaded here you will see your font you're just gonna have to click on install type in your passcode and then click on install again so it's really as easy as that to install a font from iFont and then it's available for you in all apps that support third-party fonts a tip that I have is if you are an Adobe Creative Cloud user you can actually use your fonts on Adobe and install them on your device as well so you can just go to the Creative Cloud app and you have to go to the font section and there you can see all the fonts that you can browse or you can go to install fonts to view all the fonts that you've installed on your device. Installing fonts is really easy. You can just browse their fonts and find one that you like. Once you have one, you can just click on install in the top right corner and then it will install that font or the entire font family. And then again, it will be available on your device on any apps that support it. The last step that I have, I know won't apply to everybody, but this is something that I desperately was looking for and that is how to access glyphs on your iPad. I have an app called Margin which has a bunch of different glyphs which means it has all the little curls and things additionally for each letter. And accessing these glyphs is really not as easy as a task as it seems, especially on iPad, but I have found an app that actually allows you to access them and actually copy them so you can use them in any other app. The app is called Unicode. Sadly, it's not free, but it's very cheap. So if this is something that you're gonna use, I highly recommend getting it. Again, it's very cheap. So all you need to do is is go into Unicode and find the font that you want to access the glyphs of. So mine is gonna be margin. And here you can view all the glyphs that you have available for that font. Then all you need to do is go to the glyph of your choice, go to the share option and click on share glyph and then tap on copy. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and paste it into any app. Like for instance, in GoodNotes, I just recommend you select paste and match style so that it fits with the rest of your text. And it looks really cool and it's just really helpful if you want to add some flares to your designs. I also use this in Procreate as well when I'm creating designs, so this is really helpful. So that's everything that I wanted to cover on custom fonts on iPad. I hope you got some tips and maybe learned something new. And if you have any other tips, please share them in the comments. I love learning more about these types of things and customization and things on iPad. Please Please let me know in the comments if you have any other tips. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate you and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.